So if you look in the description below, you're going to see a, a link that's going to lead you to their, to their uh, web page and it's going to give you a little registration agreement and you're going to press accept uh, these terms and all that. And after you press that, it's just going to ask you a few questions. Like it, it asks you what's your username, uh, email address, um, choose a password, your location, and then you do a little anti-spam thing. And that's about it. That's it. And they give you a, a username and you have a password. Once you've created a username and a password, at this point now, you will go back on your Kodi and then I will guide you uh, how to install the community portal and use it with your username and password. Well, at this point now, you already created your username and password. What you want to do, you want to go to your systems and you want to go to file manager. I know things look a little bit different on my screen right now. But I must reassure you that this, everything is in the same spot that it would normally be on a stock Kodi. It's just a little bit fancy looking. All right, so if you go in systems and then go to file manager, I want you to look into the description again. All right, now you can see that this build already has the noobs and nerds section. However, I'm still going to show you how to install it. Um, I want you to look in the description and I want you to see the source link for noobs and nerds. All right, and I'm just going to show you how to do it. You're going to press add source. And you see where it says none? I want you to click that again and you want to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and it's noobs, N-O-O-B, like boob, with an S, and the full word and nerds with an S, dot com forward slash portal. All right, once that's done, you want to press done. And then at this point, you want to name it and we could just name it community portal and press OK. Now, if you don't get any error messages, that means you entered it correctly. If you've gotten an error message, definitely re-enter it or make sure you're connected to the internet. As you can see, the bill comes with it, but in order to get the bill right now, it's also on Spins TV, but Spins TV is acting up right now. I don't know, by the time you watch this video, Spins TV may be working, but there's two different ways to get it. As you can see, that Noobs and Nerds is already connected to it. Uh, that's no problem. Uh, well. That, that won't allow me to connect to noobs and nerds right there what was on the build but it's already on the build no problem but what we want to do at this point we want to exit up and come back to our main area where you see all the video add-ons programs and systems and stuff like that where it says all these stuff now you want to go back into systems not into the file manager but into the settings area of systems you want to go down to add-ons all right like i say everything looks fancy but everything's in the same spot and it has the same names uh like a star code you would have now once you go into add-ons you want to go into install from zip file. Now you will go to your community portal that I just told you to name it. And then I want you to right here where it says community portal.zip, I want you to install this. Now before you install it, I just giving you a quick um, quick note that it's not a repository, it's gonna install the program out on straight onto your box. It may take a few seconds, but it's gonna do it straight onto your box. So we're just going to click that and just wait back for a few seconds, allow that to install. Um, if you're having problems, definitely try to restart it again. If you keep on having problems that it won't re uh, install, um, exit out of your code, go back into it and try to do it again. And if you're still having problems, definitely install the super repo. Uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Try to install that repository so that I can get any background files it needs to install the community portal. But, for, from my experience, um, I have never had any problems with uh, installing the community portal. All right, so everything is installing. As you can see, it says currently downloading right there. All these things you need to take notice of. Um, I, want, I also want to show you that once you install the community portal, I've been getting this little error message right after the install or right before the install, but that's completely normal. I don't know what it is. I'll show you what, what I'm talking about, but I normally just use community portal and no issues even with the, the little error message when I install it like I, once again I don't know what that is but it's not a big deal okay as you can see right here where it says community portal error I don't know what that means that's the error that I was talking about uh, so at this point once you see that error or once you see it says uh, community portal installed that means it was done successfully you just want to exit out and come back to your main section where you see all these icons now what you want to do because it's a program add-on you want to go into programs and you want to find community portal right here now the version that i'm using today would be the 2.1.4 but by the time you watch this video it's going to be probably updated um, but that's no problem the fact is uh, community portal is consistent and they're pretty good their server is good most of the time they stay up 
once you go into community portal right here you just want to go into it now once into it uh, you're going to see all these different stuff right like maintenance tutorials and all that add on uh, portal uh, community builds and so forth like that now you can install these things no problem however you're going to have like i said you're going to have to have a username and a password now let me show you how to sign in you see where it says settings all right now you want to click settings and then you want to go use noobs and nerds login unlock features all right and then you want to go right here where it says username and my username is kaz wallace right and i just want to type in my password the password and username that we created on the website which is in the description below all right so i'm just going to type in my my password it's going to be hidden so you don't know what i what i just typed and then you want to press done all right and then before you press ok you want to press this thing right here where it says click to check login credentials this is going to make sure that your password and and username is correctly entered and there were no issue no issues all right um it should come back that everything is okay you see it says congratulations your login credentials are correct and this add-on is now fully unlocked you want to press okay and at this point now you just want to press okay again all right now it's going to show you that welcome back kaz wallace all right once you've done that um it, now if you don't see a login and it's still saying it's correct you want to exit the uh, community portal and then go back into it and at this point you should see your login username once you see a login username, that means the whole add-on itself is fully unlocked and you have all its features. Now, if you want to use uh, the, the program add-on community portal to try to find add-ons, you can go into the add-on portal and you can use any of these um, options right here where it says manual search and whatever, right? So if, let's say I want to use uh, it to find something with sports. I'll just type in sports um, and it'll try to find anything with sports in its name. Uh, all the different stuff israel sports mk sports motor sports and our sports sports mafia sports devil all right so that's pretty simple now to go back you press the little two little dots up there right um then at this point if you want to install the build like what i'm using right now it's called premium light i also invite you to check out uh simply the best ever or simply tb ever i'm going to leave in the description below all all the list of builds that uh, in community portal that you can definitely check out that I that I approve of um, definitely premium light definitely simply DB ever uh, definitely lady um, the pulse all these are builds you definitely should check out uh, silence ROM is definitely a good one but if you want to install a build you want to go right here where it says community builds all right now you're gonna have this message every single time you press community builds and then you just want to press exit or you could just uh, click the exit button but let's press exit or back on my controller or my computer and then you want to select this thing where it says i have i have read the uh, and understand the, this the disclaimer then at this point <clears throat> then at this point you want to you want to select where it says show all eyes and god capable uh builds now don't be alarmed by this thing that says Isengard. It's also compatible with Jarvis, all right? But don't be alarmed by where it says Isengard. Maybe it'll be changed. Maybe the wording will be changed later. No problem. Just want to select that. And then it's going to ask you, um, storage download folder not set. Uh, you have not uh, set your background storage folder. Please update the add-on settings and try again. All right, now at this point, it will open up the screen where it says settings, community portal, and it has my username and all of that and you will want to go straight to the end where it says community builds now when you install uh add-on itself it's not gonna allow, it's not gonna ask you to choose a background storage location however when you're ever whenever you're uh, installing a build or a Kodi setup wizard like premium light that i'm using right now um you will have to find a location so if you're using a box um try to find maybe the download folder if you're using a pc put it on your desktop um, but it's basically a location that it, it, it allow you to back up any add-ons or whatever uh, You're using before you install the build and it would reinstall those add-ons if you really want to But either way even if you don't keep the add-ons and you just go with the add-ons that come with the build You're still gonna need a location to have it work properly So you want to choose backup storage location and then I want to go to my C drive 
um, because that's my local hard drive on my PC. Then I want to go to my users right here. And then I want to go to my profile. And I want to go to my desktop. All right. Now you can see I already have a folder. Once you put it on your desktop, it's going to automatically create a folder called Community Builds. I'm just going to put it on my desktop again. All right. Um, and then I want to press OK. You don't want to select anything else. Just press OK. And then at this point, it's going to say working. And then you're going to go to the next stage. I'm going to guide you through it. All right, so at this point now, um, it's gonna say all these stuff. It's gonna have all the, the top bills right now, like Spins uh, TV Premium Light, what I just talked about, and so forth like that. You can go into sort by newest, and you can see all the newest uh, updated um, add-ons, and so, I'm not add-ons, but bills, so forth like that, most popular, and so forth like that. I want to guide you, I want to give you a quick point out that the newest and the most popular doesn't mean it is the best all right it may just be the most popular at the time the one that i use on my box is definitely premium light all right but if you want to go into manual uh, search you can search the exact name or a piece of the name so what we want to do you just want to go into manual search to try to find premium light and different stuff uh, you want to just search by name and you can search by all those other options as well but i'm trying to keep it as, as basic for you so you can just use it uh, at your own leisure, right? At this point now, you just want to type in something, maybe something that was in, in the name, um, maybe you don't know how it is spelled on um, Community Portal, so you just want to type in a piece of the name, not the whole name, but something that definitely is in the name so that you can locate it. All right, so just type in premium, and it will try to find everything that has premium in it. And as you can see, the only bill that has premium in it, because the bill is not named premium light on so if i just put uh light it would have showed up if i just put spins tv it would have showed up spins tv was the original um source link that had premium light spins tv is uh is a group or a set of developers that created uh, premium light as well as other um bills all right so i don't know what happened just now but we just want to go back into it and press premium light or we just put premium right but once you see that you want to install this right here uh, once you go into it um, you're gonna be prompted with all these different messages now what is it it's gonna it's gonna give you some information the description and important install instructions if you really need it each bill has its own uh, install instruction um, I would suggest and most times to use uh, fresh installed especially on PCs, but if you are uh, having any issues with all of these different options um, Definitely use number four for for boxes. I've seen that pretty consistent with a lot of builds on community portal So I don't know what it is with that, but you can definitely um, use Use any of these options, but those are the options that I've seen that that work one for PC and four for uh, Boxes and cell phones and stuff like that. All right, so once you've done that, it's going to pretty much install the bill. Um, it's going to ask you to to falsely close Cody. You're going to press yes, falsely cl close Cody. And at this point, I want you to just give you a quick pointer that on PCs, it's going to close Cody forcefully and it's going to be successful straight up. Now on boxes, on Android boxes and Cody sticks and stuff like that, it's not going to exit out uh, the Cody most of the time, pretty much all the time. All right, but on the times that it don't actually code it correctly because uh, on the PC it uses the command prompt. On these other devices, I don't know what it just trying to use, but it, sometimes it fails and it doesn't use anything to close it. All right, so it says some type of error. However, the bill is still in effect. Uh, to get that bill to completely uh, be used on your on your device, your Android box or your Kodi stick, you want to press the home button on your remote. On your remote control that you have you want to press the home button that would allow the program Cody to still continue to run right because it's gonna to have to be forcefully closed and at this point you want to go back into your Cody but not into your Cody completely you just want to go where your Cody is uh, on the fire stick and you want to press force close don't go back into it just press force close and on your G box or your Android box you want to go into your settings uh, go to your apps and go to your Cody and force close so with that i leave you guys with this tutorial i hope this helped you out as much as i possibly could